Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do addition and subtraction chapter 3, exercise 3.1. Now this addition and subtraction chapter 3 is something that you have learned in the previous classes. You have learned addition and subtraction of numbers up to 9999. So this exercise is just a revision. So let's start the first one. Write the following numbers vertically. Now this is not vertically. It is written horizontally. Vertically means one below the other. And then we have to add. So let's start with question A. Now question A, to write it vertically, remember first that these are four digit numbers. So let's write the places about this. So what are the places? Ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. These are the places. Now let's write 3522 below this. So that is 3522. Put it in the right places. The next number here is 3165. Let's write it here. 3165. Let's add this up. 2 plus 5 is 7. 2 plus 6 is 8. 5 plus 1 is 6. And 3 plus 3 is 6. So what did we get? 6,687. Can you see how simple it is? Okay, let's go to question B. Question B, again, let's write 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. And let's write the number below this. And what is the number? 3,685. So 3,685 plus, what is the other number? 4,125. So let's write that. 4,125. Let's add this up. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. 10, 11. Carry 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. And then we have 3 plus 4 which is 7. 7810. Now let's go to question C. Question C we have two numbers again. So let's write C and red. let's write the places. That is 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. Now below this, let's write this number. And what is the number? 4,351. So 4,351 plus what is the other number? 323. Now be careful. 300, you must put it in the hundreds place. 323. Now let's add this up. 1 plus 3 is 4. 5 plus 2 is 7. 3 plus 3 is 6 and then we have 4. This is 4,674. So we finished three sums. Let's go ahead. Now let's write question D. D is here. D, E and F. We finish A, B and C. Now let's do question D. So question D also when we write, let's write the places. So we have ones, then we have tens, then we have hundreds and we have thousands. Now, question D, let's write this first number, 4,525. Let's write it here. So, 4,525 plus, what is the next number? 2,094. Let's write it below this. So, that is 2,094. Now, let's add this up. 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 9 is 11. You carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6 and 4 plus 2 is also 6. So we have 6,619. Now let's go to question E. Here there are three numbers. So let's be careful. We can arrange any number first for addition. You can put it any way or we can put the two four digit numbers first and then put the three digit number to make it easier. So let's write question E and let's write the places ones, tens and hundreds. So here let's write down the numbers. We should have the thousands place also because we have four digit numbers. So let's take this number 4073 and write it first. So 4073 plus let's take the next number 2237. 
2237. To this, we're going to add 154. This is 100, so put it in the hundreds column. So 154. Now let's add all this up. Let's begin. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 4 is 14. So we write 4 here and we carry 1. So here 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. So we write 6 here and we carry 1. Then 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we write 4 here. This is 4. Then the last column, the thousands column, 4 plus 2 is 6, which we write here. So what do we have? 6,464. Now let's take question F. Question F also has three digits. So let's write three numbers. Okay, question F. Well, let's write the places, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So again, you can write the numbers in any order. So we'll take the first one, 5,629. So 5,000. 629 plus let's take the next number 324 so let's put it here 324 then let's take the last one 2353 and write it here 2000 should be in the thousands place 353 now let's add this up look at the ones column 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. So we write 6 here and we carry over 1. Now let's add the tens column. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. So we put 0 and we carry 1. Then here the hundreds column. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So let's write 3 and carry 1. Then here the thousands column, 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. What do we have? 8,306. So we finished question 1. Let's go to question 2. Now what does the question say? Find the number which is 5,248 more than this number. Whenever we say more than, we have to add. Okay, so we have to add this number to this. So let's do that. So let's write question A here also. Let's write our places so that we don't make a mistake. So ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So let's write this number first because it says more than this number. So let's write this number first and then this number. So the number given to us 3215 to add a number to it which is more than that we have to write 5215. 48. Now we do normal addition. 5 plus 8 is 13, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. Then we have here 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 5 is 8. So we have 8,463. So the number which is 5,248 more than this number is this. 8,463. Now question B. Find the number which is 2046 more than this number. That is question B. Same way we write. We write B. So let's write ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So now we have to write uh, this number more than this, isn't it? So we have to write this number first. So let's write 4613 plus the other number that is 2046. So let's add this up and see. 3 plus 6 is 9. 1 plus 4 is 5. 6 plus 0 is 6. And 4 plus 2 is 6. 6,659. Okay, so when you add 2046 more than this, you get 6,659. Now question C. Let's do question C. So here again, let's write the places. 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. And below this, we need to write these two numbers. Find the number which is 4520 more than 3188. 
So let's write 3188 plus 4520. So now let's add this up and see. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 5 is 7. And 3 plus 4 is 7. So here the number which is 4520 more than 3188 is 7708. Now we go to question D. So question D, let's write first the places 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. So find the number which is 3248 more than this number. So let's write this number 2100 plus 3248. Let's add this up and see what we get. 0 plus 8 is 8, 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So we've got 5,348. Next is subtraction. Subtract the following numbers. So we have from A to H. Let's start subtracting. So let's begin with question A. So here we have 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. Let's write the first question. That is 5,000. 463 minus 2,311. 3 minus 1 is 2. 6 minus 1 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 5 minus 2 is 3. So what's our answer? 3,152. Let's take question B. Okay, question B. Let's write the places. 1s, 10s hundreds and thousands. So under this let's write the first one that is 1238 minus 231. This is the question. Now let's start with the ones place here. 8 minus 1 is 7. Then let's go to the tens place. 3 minus 3 is 0. So let's write 0. And then again next one in the hundreds place we have 2 minus 2 which is 0. Then again, here we have only 1 left, which we write here. So what is our answer? 1007. Let's go to question C and write the places again. 1s, 10s, 100s and 1000s. And this is question C here. Let's write that down. So 7458 minus 6235. So now let's subtract the 1's column. So 8 minus 5 is 3. Then let's go to the 10's column. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then let's go to the 100's column. 4 minus 2 is 2. And 7 minus 6 is 1. So what do we have? 1,223. Let's do question D. So question D, let's write it down here. This is the question. This is the question, question D, which I have circled. So let's write ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Question D. Now let's write the number 8,542 minus 3,214. Okay. Now we can't subtract 2 minus 4. We can't do this. We can't take away 4 from 2. So we have to borrow from the previous number 4. So 4 becomes 3, this becomes 12. Now we do 12 minus 4. Carefully subtract, 12 minus 4 is 8. Then we go to this 3 minus 1 is 2. Then we go to the hundreds column, 5 minus 2 is 3. Then we have 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. So what's our answer? 5,328. Now let's take question E. Question E is here now in the second row. So let's write ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's write the number below that. 9,857 minus 4,667. So let's subtract the ones column. 7 minus 7 is 0. 
So here we write 0, then we go to the tens column, 5 minus 6, which we can't do. So we have to borrow from 8. So let's borrow from 8. So 8 now becomes 7 and this becomes 15. Now 15 minus 6 is 9. And then we go to the hundreds column, 7 minus 6 is 1. And the thousands column, 9 minus 4 is 5. 5,190. Now let's go to question F. Question F is here. So let's write that down. So F, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's write the number now. 9,005 minus 2,393. Now let's do this carefully. 5 minus 3 will be 2. Then we have 0. 0 minus 9 we can't do so we borrow from here that is also a 0 so we borrow from 9. So 9 will now become 8 and this will become 10. From 10 we are going to borrow so this becomes 9 and this is 10. Now let's work out the tens column. 10 minus 9 will be 1. Then let's go to the hundreds column 9 minus 3 that is 6. And then we'll go to the thousands column 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6, 6,612. Now let's go to question G. So question G, let's write it down. So G, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Let's write question G which is here. Okay, so now let's write that down. 3,841 minus 2,910. Now let's subtract the ones column first. Ones column 1 minus 0 is 1. Then we go to the tens column. 4 minus 1 is 3. Then we go to the hundreds column. 8 minus 9 you can't do because 8 is smaller than 9. So we borrow. So this is 2 and this is 18. 18 minus 9 is 9. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So what is our answer? 931. Now let's do question H. So ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Now we are doing question H which is here. This is question H. So let's write down 6170 minus 5083. Now let's Minus the 1's column. Now here we have 0 minus 3. You can't do so you need to borrow from 7. So 7 will now become 6 and this will become 10. So 1's column is 10 minus 3 which will be 7. So let's write 7. Then we go to the 10's column. 6. 6 is smaller than 8. So we have to borrow from 1. So let's borrow from 1. So 1 becomes 0 and this becomes 16. Now 10's column is 16 minus 8 which is 8. Then the hundreds column, both are zeros. So 0 minus 0 is 0. And then we look at the hundreds column, 6 minus 5 is 1. So 1087. Question 4. Write a number which is 400 less than 9867. When we say less than, we are talking about subtraction. So we can write this number down as 9867 minus 400. So let's subtract 400 from this. So 7 minus 0 is 7, 6 minus 0 is 6, 8 minus 4 is 4 and 9. So 9467 is the number which is 400 less than 9867. Let's go to B. Here we have to get a number which is 1000 less than this. So that is very easy, isn't it? 6532, we take away 1000 from it. Now 2 minus 0 is 2, 3 minus 0 is 3, 5 minus 0 is 5, 6 minus 1 is 5. So the answer is 5532. Now question C is write a number which is 900 less than this number. So write down that number first, 8,996. Now 900 less means you subtract 900 from this. So this is 6, 
9. 9 minus 9 is 0 and here we have 8. So the answer is 8096. Next one, write a number which is 725 less than this number that is 7450. So take away the first number that is 725 from it and you will get your answer. So here 0 minus 5 you can't do so we borrow from here. So it becomes 10 minus 5 is 5, 4 minus 2 is 2. Now again 4 minus 7 we can't do so we borrow. So this is 14, 14 minus 7 is 7 and we have 6 here. So what is our answer? 6725. Question 5. Read the word problems and solve. A train comes from city A to city B covering a distance of 432 kilometers and goes from city B to city C covering a distance of 562 kilometers. Find the total distance from city A to city C. So look at the first statement. A train comes from city A to city B. So let's write that. Distance covered from city A to city B is how much? 432 kilometers from A to B. So 432 kilometers. Now look at the second sentence. From city B to city C, 562 kilometers. So distance covered from city B to city C is 562 kilometers. What is the question? Find the total distance from city A to C. That means from here to here. City A to city C, what is the distance? So first from city A to city B is here. From B to C it's here. So if you add up these two, you will get the total distance from A to C. So total distance covered, we just have to add this up. So when you add this up, what do you get? Let's add it up. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 6 is 9, 4 plus 5 is 9, 994 kilometers is the total distance covered. B. A factory manufactured 3450 toys on Monday, 2521 toys on Tuesday and 3681 toys on Wednesday. How many toys were produced altogether? So first we write how many toys were made on Monday? Number of toys manufactured on Monday is given to us here 3450. Then number of toys on Tuesday is 2521. You have to arrange them correctly. Then on Wednesday 3000 here is given 3681. Now the question is how many toys were produced all together? So what do you think we should do? We should add it up, isn't it? So number of toys produced all together. Let's add up all these numbers. So let's begin here. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this is 2. Now let's go to the tens column. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. So we write 5 and we carry 1. Then 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16. So let's write 6 and carry 1. Then here we have 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. So what is our answer? Totally 9,652 toys were produced. Question C. There are 5,234 men 4,326 women and 2,213 children in a village. What is the population of the village? So how many men are there? Number of men in the village is 5,234. Then we have women, isn't it? So number of women is 4,326. Then the children. Number of children is 2,000. It's given here. 213. So first thing you have to write what's given to us. Next question is what is the population? Population means how many men, women and children are there. So to find the population we should add this up. So now population of the village let's add it up and get our answer. So let's begin here. 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 plus 3 13. 
carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, 5, 6 plus 1 is 7. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 4 is 9, 9 plus 2, 10, 11. 11, so 11,773 is the total number of people in the village or the population. Question D. Out of 5,000 people in a city, 2,864 are women and children. So there are so many people in the city. Out of that, so many women and children are there. So the remaining will be men. Our question is, how many men are there? So let's write this now. Total number of people in a city. How many people are there? There are 5,000 people in a city. In that, how many are women and children? 2,000. 864. Now how to find the number of men? We just have to subtract this and then we will get the number of men. So here 0 minus 4 you can't do so we have to borrow. Now we borrow all the way from 5. So 5 becomes 4. This becomes 10. From here we are borrowing so it becomes 9. This becomes 10. Again we are borrowing it becomes 9 and this is 10. Now we can subtract. 10 minus 4 is 6. Then we have 9 minus 6 is 3. Then we have 9 minus 8, 1. And then we have 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have found the number of men. What is that? 2,136 men are there in the city. So this is our answer. Question E. Subtract the difference of these two numbers from 6000. So difference of two numbers means we have to subtract those two numbers. So first let's subtract that and find the difference. 9056 minus 4860. So 6 minus 0 is 6. 5 minus 6 you can't do. So we borrow from 9, 8 and this becomes 10. Now it's 9 and 15. Now 15 minus 6 is 9, 9 minus 8 is 1, 8 minus 4 is 4. So now what did we get? We got the difference of these two numbers. Now the question is subtract this difference from 6000. That means 6000 should be written first. And we have to subtract this one that is 4196 from 6000. So let's subtract this and see. So here 0 minus 6 we can't do. We are going to borrow from here. So this becomes 5. This is 10. It's going to become 9. Again 10, 9, 10. Now let's subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 1 is 8. 5 minus 4 is 1. So what is our final answer? Final answer is 1,800. Four. Question F. Make the greatest and smallest number using these digits with no repetition of digits. So we can't repeat any digit. So first we're going to write down all these digits. So what are the digits? 6, 3, 4 and 7. Now we have to make the greatest number out of this. To make the greatest number, Choose the greatest digit here and write the digits in a descending order. Big to small. 7, 6, 4, 3. Let's write that. 7, 6, 4, 3. Now we must place a comma only in the correct place. So 1s, 10s, 100s and then we place the comma here. So we made the greatest number 7,643. Now we have to make the smallest number using the same digits. This time you're starting with the smallest number, that is 3, then 4, then 6, and 7. So let's write 3, 4, 6, and 7. Put the comma only in the right place. 1s, 10s, 100s, and then you put a comma here. So now when we read the number, it becomes 3467. So we made the greatest and the smallest number. Now there's one more question. Find the difference between them. Difference means subtract. So let's subtract these two numbers. So let's write 7643 
minus 3467. Now to subtract, we need to borrow because 3 is small. So this becomes 3 and 13. 13 minus 7 is 6. Now again, you can see 3 is small, so we have to borrow from here. So 6 becomes 5 and this becomes 13. Now 13 minus 6 is 7. 5 minus 4 is 1 and 7 minus 3 is 4. So what is our final answer? 4,176.